हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द मोस्ट कॉम्प्रहेंसिव प्रिपरेशन प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर ऑल कॉम्पिटिटिव एग्जाम्स बाय जूस एग्जाम प्रेप एंड वार्म वेलकम टू द ऑल इसरो एस्पिरेंट्स अपकमिंग इसरो साइंटिस्ट आई होप यू आर ऑल डूइंग ग्रेट एंड यूर प्रिपरेशन इज गोइंग फाइन राइट सो डियर फ्रेंड्स as the isro announcement is released the notification is released for computer science aspirants we have 47 posts i believe you all might have uh, gone through the notification so there are 47 posts for scientist engineer right so while you are preparing for this exam definitely everyone might have got this particular need or question what is the syllabus what are the subjects we have to prepare and what is the weightage from those subjects undoubtedly to know the weightage we have to refer the past question papers undoubtedly yes right so i have analyzed the last 5 years papers for you and in this session i will present the last 5 years weightage subject wise for isro scientist job so while late let us start the session without any delay let me introduce myself quickly i am satya i am a research scholar with 15 plus years of teaching experience i have mentored more than 40000 students all over india in the gate and psu categories myself qualified in gate ugc net set and also certified by cisco into networking and programming so this is quick brief about me dear friends okay now our byju's exam prep is conducting a national scholarship test on 11th june at 12 pm through this scholarship test you can avail up to 90% off on all our programs so guys this is a really wonderful opportunity for every gate aspirant so if you are a gate aspirant don't miss this golden chance take this scholarship test tomorrow 11th june and please get the benefit out of it okay now guys for gate aspirants for computer science gate aspirants exclusively i can say that we our expert faculty are planning multiple series for your benefit as you see myself planned pioneer in programming series and vishal sir series is the dbms on gate phobia gone and murali sir has planned toc summer crash guys this series are useful not only for gate aspirants but also for isro aspirants why because isro syllabus and gate syllabus is almost same 90% of the syllabus is the same so definitely these three c programming dbms theory of computation will be are there in isro so will be useful for isro aspirants nilit aspirants as well as gate aspirants so attend these classes regularly and get the most benefit out of it okay now firstly for computer science isro scientist aspirants let us see what are the subjects you have to prepare so first let us see what is the syllabus we have you can pause and you can guess guys as i said it is almost equal to gate syllabus so whatever the subjects we have in the gate we have almost the same in addition we have some more so let me reveal what are the subjects you have to prepare for becoming isro scientist computer science aspirants undoubtedly you have to prepare engineering mathematics and discrete mathematics but you can prepare for the basic part digital logic and microprocessors okay and computer organization and architecture 
programming and data structures algorithms theory of computation and compiler design operating systems databases computer networks software engineering and web technologies object oriented programming and some others you can say like uh, what the image processing in some years image processing is also there in the syllabus so guys what is the understanding you got after you look at this syllabus or subjects we have what is the understanding mostly the subjects mostly the subjects are in the form of combos isn't it the subjects are in the form of combos like theory of computation compiler design engineering math discrete mathematics software engineering web technologies in that way in that way the subjects are in the combos so so please prepare as per that please prepare as per that dear friends okay now let us look at the weightage let us look at the weightage as i said i will present the last 5 years weightage guys it is enough if we can analyze the last 5 years weightage definitely we can expect the upcoming isro exam weightage accurately so last 5 years weightage see here last 5 years means i am presenting 2020 2018 2017 2016 2015 last 5 years means as isro exam is not happening every year or sometimes two times a year happens the last 5 papers i mean to say last 5 years in the sense last 5 papers analysis i am presenting so from programming data structures 16 marks this is in marks guys okay i believe you know that the total questions are 80 i believe everybody know this if not however i am telling you the total questions you will have for isro paper will be 8080 and you will be given 2 hours time 120 minutes time you will be given and you are supposed to attempt 80 questions so from 80 you have got 16 marks from programming and data structures in 2020 paper 5 marks from computer networks 9 marks from operating systems 7 from toc and cd together 13 marks from co and 8 from digital logic and microprocessors together and algorithms 5 marks dm and em engineering math discrete math together 4 marks databases 4 marks and others like i say software engineering web technologies image processing these together we have got 9 marks so this is the 2020 paper weightage subject wise and now 2018 if you look at from programming data structures we got 18 marks dear friends 18 marks right and computer network 6 marks operating systems 8 marks theory of computation and compiler design 4 marks co 5 marks digital logic microprocessors 4 marks algorithms 9 marks dm and em together 4 marks databases 9 marks and software engineering image processing web technologies and any other miscellaneous concepts together 13 marks so in 2018 little more weightage given for this software engineering web technologies image processing okay now from 2017 like object oriented programming also there in the others guys okay object oriented programming is also there it is also part of others like others means what i am including software engineering web technologies oops and image processing okay and 2017 you see from programming data structures 21 marks come on almost 
25% quarter percentage of the total weightage is given for this programming data structures and from computer networks 8 marks, OS 9 marks, theory of computation and compiler design 6 marks, CO 5, digital logic microprocessor 6, algorithms 4, DM and EM together this time little more weightage you got 10 marks and databases 5 others 6. Similarly, you can find for 2016, CN you got more this year and DLD and microprocessors got 12 more and also others given more weightage, software engineering, web technologies, image processing groups together. And again, if you look at 2015, though in 2016 the weightage for PDS little reduced, in 2015 it was again high, 19 marks, right? I hope uh, everybody can see this weightage. If you want, you can take the screenshot, dear friends, okay, uh, on your count 5 to 1. You may take the screenshot 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Thank you. Now, sir, every year the weightage is not fixed. So, how you can understand the accurate weightage, sir? aggregate. So, let us take the average. That is one way, right? So, let us take the average weightage, guys. So, if you take the average weightage, programming data structures, 16 marks minimum you are getting every year on an average, CN 7 marks, OS 8 marks, TOC CD together 4 marks, computer organization architecture 6 marks, a DLD microprocessors 8 marks, ALGO 4 marks, DM and EM together 5 marks, DBMS 6 marks and software engineering, web technologies, OOPS, image processing, others, all those together 12 marks you are getting. I have just take, took the average. So, now from this weightage, I recommend you to prepare the order of subjects to prepare. You also plan in such a way that in weightage order you can prepare along with your interest also. So, for you, I only have done that ordering. So, let me present the order guys. So, the weightage order, high weightage to low weightage if you see, programming data structures undoubtedly you are supposed to prepare because you see every time we have got more weightage on an average 16 marks you are getting out of 80 that means 20 percent 20 percent weightage is there for programming data structures and for computer networks the next you are supposed to prepare followed by operating systems followed by theory of computation and compiler design then COA, then digital logic and microprocessors, ALGO, discrete maths and EM engineering maths, then DBMS and then others. So, this is what the weightage order from high to low. So, this is my recommendation guys. There is no compulsion here. You may prepare as per your interest also, but it is advised to prepare as per the weightage order so that even if due to time you can't prepare some subjects, maybe one or two subjects which hold less weightage, much impact will not be there. You can score high. That is what the intention. Hope it is clear for everyone. So, I wish you all the very best dear friends and for your benefit. We, our computer science experts are coming up with this most expected questions series which is commonly useful for both ISRO and NEELIT aspirants and this would start from Monday onwards, 12th June. So, attend regularly and guys this is my series to make you strengthen in programming and after this we will plan data structures practice also. As you see from programming and data structures, much weightage is there in ISRO, even in the NILIT also, even in the GATE also. So, for all, all of you, this series would be very useful, 
okay so this is the complete 10 days schedule already we have finished the first five topics and today on uh, saturday we will have uh, topic wise weightage of pds so you want uh, for gate exam what is the topic wise weightage you may attend this okay these are my telegram and instagram group links guys if you want you may join that's all for today guys all the very best i wish you all really to become scientists and achieve your goals thank you so much for watching it please do like the session share and subscribe to our bep youtube channel stay tuned for more more useful sessions like this and if you don't want to miss please enable the notifications thank you so much guys wish you all the very best have a great time take care bye bye